Today's podcast is brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den where you can get all your gentleman's den merch. And with that being said, on with the show. Don't blink. Don't show weakness. I've never blinked. Ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. How are we doing this week, gentlemen? I feel fantastic. Woo. Look at that. Still recovering. Still recovering? From last weekend's podcast. <laughs> Oof, rough yeah. one. That we got it in. <laughs> yeah, we put we put a little dent in I'm there. I'm still recovering from last night. You guys want to do uh, turtle power shots? Oh, let's get them in now because I don't want to. Let's just do let's just bang yeah, them yeah. out. Let's bang them out quick. Go yeah. go go! Turtle power. Stay go hydrated. Go ninja, go ninja go! Wow! Almost lost the headphones again. I just Fire. swished it. I'm not. I'm not a, a big uh, fan of the drink in the night. So you know. from from last weekend, <laughs> I wanted to start off. Someone asked me if I listen. Everyone's ba- over here. A- if I listen back to the podcasts, <laughs> and I don't want to seem like like vain or I like hearing the sound of my own voice, but I am a very I'm a very like introspective person. And I want the podcast to do good, and I want to get better as a, someone who does a podcast. And yeah, because yeah. we suck at this for sure, right? And now. whatever, yeah, just we're say. just starting out, just so say, I will, yeah. I will listen back to it, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, I we're, we're better I, than most, though. That's the sad thing. <laughs> I don't like how I did that. I don't like how I, I did this. So I'm very yeah. You don't like how you say like a lot. I say like a lot. I really do. I don't. I don't. Like and I don't like the way that I say like, but I just subconsciously, I just, I just do it. Well, and I'm, I'm the same way with like. And the thing is, I say that. That's like I go and the to. Thing is, and the thing is, and <laughs> shit like that. I don't say anything like that. No, you just <laughs> ramble incoherently. So Are there's a really there, words? there's a couple reasons. So the first reason is, is I want to get better. You know, as a speaker and yes. as a like person who says like a lot i'm trying not to do it the like other reason the it. other reason i listen to the podcast i don't know if you guys know this but i drink a lot during the podcast <laughs> i don't rem- i don't remember <laughs> the fucking podcast <laughs> well the movie one especially so yeah. last week when we did the turtles movie recap I had no idea. No recollection. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> so I listened to it, and Already. the same way you're listening to this right now is the same way I most of the time listen to the podcast because I don't remember them. <laughs> so I'm like, like the first Ooh. time. <laughs> it's the first time for me as well. well. See, we do two a day now, or two a night on Saturdays usually. So we do a movie review, which is fun. Well, we do the regular one, then the, how we were doing it. Yeah, it was we do this one first, the regular one first, then the movie review. And we, we've come to find out the movie reviews go by a lot smoother because <laughs> we can stay on topic. Yeah, we know something we're talking about. <laughs> well, we really don't. Kind of. That yeah, Turtles right. one wasn't on top. <laughs> that Turtles we talked one, about like 13 movies. That Turtles one was literally like a fucking Super Bowl in an elevator. But it, it was a great time. Every wall. Shout Have out you ever to DJ. seen I'm glad Bye. he came out. That was an awesome time. It was a blast. Yeah, BJ oh, yeah. is welcome at any He's time. He's coming back for sure. Oh, yeah. I, we, I can't wait to see more on the blame. What's BJ doing? Coming. Coming. <laughs> to <laughs> a theater <laughs> new, near you. <laughs> <laughs> to order a streaming service. Yes. Shout out to uh, Turtles 2, Secretly Use for that. Yeah. Check <laughs> Check out the uh, spoiler on the turtles last week. That was a, a fun time. It was a that good was show. just my rant. No, but it, I like. I, I want to improve and I want to get better. So I, I listen to my own podcast like a fucking. I listen to them bag. too. Like sometimes on my way home from. But it's work. not because I like to hear my own voice or laugh at my fucking jokes. I don't remember. I'm, yeah, like I that's don't. Sad. I want to get better at this, and I. Don't remember anything we talked about. One hundred percent. Like is. Sean's like. So we did last week. We had. Uh, our guest BJ on. 
So we had him on for the normal podcast, and we talked about his movies, and then he stuck around for the movie review. And Sean's like, do you remember doing those shotguns? <laughs> and we, we, like, shotguns we had shotguns no, up here before the I podcast. I don't remember that at all. Well, it was a good well, time. I'm going to be honest with you. I shotgunned a beer, and the rest of them kind of gingerly sipped it down. Wow. I think we have a video of that we need to put up because Are you on BJ's phone, he won't give, he won't give it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> BJ won't give it up. That's did you fan, just like sly, right. Did you just slyly call us pussies? Right. I was just, I I'm, just saying you can't. You I'm can't. not going to say I was even close to drinking it as fast as you, but I was a close. Well, I you, was second. You were second. Close you were a shotgun second. champion. Yes. You are a true Wisconsinite. I'm sta- I was standing next to Sean while I was doing it all ears. <laughs> Fucking beer's gone. Sucking I'm like, Jesus. Off of <laughs> Jeez, you can't hit the ground before like the fucking beer was going down my throat. I was like, Jesus. How long have you known Sean, though? Uh, I think I met him when I was 12, so 20 years. See, I've known Sean a long time. You didn't... You weren't there for the days when he had the golf ball and the garden hose, and he would just <laughs> practice hours. He'd be outside in this... I'm like, Sean, you come to the skate park? Nah, bruh. Working on this fucking golf, golf ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> it paid off. Yeah, you it got did. You can it did. Gun like a model. Pound sign right? goals. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to make them. Pound sign goals. You got to have goals. them. <laughs> and your throat beer and bongs, lip game. Send in your videos beer bongs, of your beer shotguns. Beer and shotguns, man. Let's see your, let's see your shotguns. Long. Send the video into us, and we'll, we'll post a video. Well, Sean see knows how to pull up videos right now. Yeah, that is Yeah, well, we're not live. No one's talking to us. If you... Send in your videos of your shotgun. We will put them up here on the air and, and on our podcast, and then we'll, we'll put tag it. We'll tweet do, it. What do they do in the uh, the combine? combine? No combine. The we'll uh, give you combine sim- stats. Sim- sim- simulcast. Oh, we'll simulcast, simulcast it next to Sean doing a shotgun. Have we'll you do seen? Yours I, I you think I've them. sent this video to you guys of this. I think it's it's got to be in Europe or something. This guy chugs a pitcher of beer in one second. The video is ten seconds long. And <laughs> yeah, it's only half two of it, seconds. Half of it's only him chucking beer. Not yeah. even. Right. It's fucking. He phenomenal. literally takes the picture and Sean will put it on our. Uh, I'll put it up on the uh, Twitter. Yo, machine. good old Twitter. Will you? Yes, I have right. been putting. I'm gonna write a Twitter. note. Hold on. I got Ridley Pup. Ridley Pup is all over my legs. Ridley Pup's in it. There is a no. What is this dog? Huh? Mountain Cur. Mountain Cur mix. We have a mountain <laughs> according to our association. She is the most lovely puppy, and she just loves loving. She's gorgeous. And none of you guys are gonna see it because she. she we don't move the camera. Maybe it looks like you're maybe jerking Sean off. Does it? Petting my dog. <laughs> you can't really see my arm moving. Like slightly. Yeah. Oh, I can see it. I'm not allowed oh, to touch Sean's dude, inner thighs. Dude, don't see? I can't fucking touch. Oh. I just, it was can I touch it? Don't touch it, Jeff. Touch me. Hold on, this is coming from a guy where Jeff literally walked up to you, stared at you in your eyes, grabbed you by the cock and balls. No, he just grabbed a handful of balls and just stared blankly at me drunk. And you know what? That's fine. The disturbing part of the story is you didn't tell him to stop it. You just Oh, I go. did. I snatched his wrist. I said, no, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three words and three. I, I just brushed slightly against your inner thigh and... No, you're, you're like shit. grabbing yeah, at my inner right. thigh. You see that? Grab see, this is how thigh. this is how my brain and my I love interacting with people. I love fucking with people. <laughs> I love. I, I'm yeah. just an all around fucking. Hey, how you doing? Type of guy. So, my lady. <laughs> what, like John Gruden? You remember my birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> my 30th birthday party. I do remember. That's my lady like five fucking years ago. Huh? My lady invites. How dare you put my age on the line? Old oh, man. <laughs> Holy shit, brah. So my lady invites her friends out. And uh, her one friend's boyfriend, she's like, he's very uncomfortable. Just like, he, this isn't his environment. I said, you okay. That that's why say, Jeff did it to me. Say more. fucking no more. That's why <laughs> Jeff did it to me, too, first. Cause he well, made, I didn't do this to you. I grabbed your shit, looked you dead in the eye, yeah. and I could tell. I could tell you were weak right <laughs> there. I knew I had you in my hands like a, like a putty ball. Dude, because I'm not going to hit my best friend. <laughs> All right, back I, to it, the story. It, so this so guy is very uncomfortable. He He's... He's fucking... He's an ultra-nervous cat. Ultra-nervous. 
our audience feels so he's, comfortable. They are right now. They're waiting for the punchline, right? So he's sitting in a bar stool, hanging out. I introduce myself, blah, blah, blah. I literally lift my nutsack up <laughs> into <laughs> my jeans and I set it on his knee and just stood there. <laughs> I forgot about that. What <laughs> oh, an asshole. God. I forgot about that. That was so I do good. remember this. I was like, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> just, just, why I doesn't he come out anymore? And then I just walked away. Why doesn't he come out and hang out anymore? What's great is that... Um, I don't know why. I don't get even it. my lady is like, he has come out of his shell so much since he's met you. Yeah, because you put your balls on his knee. Well, dude, because I just... I don't give a fuck, man. It was it was phenomenal. If you ever want it to break great. the ice, just I break can't the tell ice. Everyone to put their balls on people's knee. How much does the polar bear weigh? Yeah, enough to, enough break, to the break, ice. break the ice. Break break tell the that ice. fucking story. <laughs> 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 that one's already been told. Oh, uh, has it? Your balls yeah. on someone's. It's got to be your balls. <laughs> <laughs> can't be someone else's. Can't balls. be someone else's balls. Well, it could be. Balls. I mean, it could be. Oh yeah! All right, let's get it. I like meeting new people and shit, though. Yeah, I love. I I really do. I like talking with people and finding out their story. And well, like when we were on the cruise. But ship. people that I know, I don't like talking to. Yeah, I don't like talking. Like to I live either. in a small ass fucking town, so like when I go to the local grocery store, yeah, I don't. And then I need to go down to aisle three, and I'm like, oh fuck, there's John. <laughs> I'm going out for. I'm not talking. I don't need none on there. Yeah, I, it's not that I don't. I really do like talking to people, but I don't like that conversation of "Hey, how's the boom?" It's "What are you doing now?" And you gotta like put a smake, fake uh, a smile sm- on a your smake face. file, a yeah. smake yeah. file. Yeah, for sure, man. You're like smake file, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you should just tell him right away. This is a smake file, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> smake file. Smake file. Pound sign smake pound, file. Pound sign smake file. <laughs> That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really do. I like actu- I like having actual conversations with people. But if it's that fake bullshit, I don't know. I don't I don't even want to engage. Yeah. It was what small have you talk. Been do- so, yeah. What have you been doing? Act like you care. I don't care what the fuck he's doing. Right. I really don't. Well, that means I got to change the intro. Hi. <laughs> I'm just saying... Bro, oh, you're it's working cool at that place? Yeah, people, I heard about that place. They're doing good, big things. You got any kids? Yeah, yeah. three kids. And then you go down out Great. Out yeah, I got four kids, too. Yeah. Can like, you just bruh. get the fuck out of my way? I'm trying to get some golden grams. Uh, bruh. <laughs> kids love them golden grams. But I like, I like um, see, that's a different environment. So if you get them, like, like we had BJ on the podcast, you know, he kind of opened up, and we have had other people on the podcast, Dylon, talking about his kids' potty training. Dylan, like, those are Dylan, the conversations Dylan. I like. Yeah, yeah I like getting in the head of people. Kid shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> deep diving. I, I mean, like the deep dive. I'm a deep, I'm a deep diver. But like, like you said, the random people, like, I remember when we were on the cruise ship when we were younger, and we were known as, everyone called us the bucket of beer boys. Yeah. Because we constantly <laughs> walked around with a bucket full of beer. <laughs> well, I fuck around. Right. Like, I mean, what, do you, what, what, do you, what are we doing here? I'm going to go was, back up here every time we need a beer. I'm going to be like, up here. Eight dollars a beer if you bought them individually, but if you bought a six pack in a bucket, yeah, it was like there's the bucket five boys. bucks a beer. <laughs> it's the bucket boys. Bucket it's of true. beer boys. <laughs> but like you know, the you got some fucks. You got some tattoos. I got some tattoos and stuff. And when we're sitting on the elevator in our swimming trunks with a bucket of beers, people would come onto the elevator and they would be like, you could just kind of tell like. Oh my God! These guys are shirtless with a beer, right? And they're yeah. all tattoos, and look at them, and they got yeah. You know why? <laughs> because most people that go on cruises are stuck up fucking ass. Yeah, it was an old time cruise. I'm not gonna lie. Right, but I thought there was gonna be like mad pussy on this just cruise. Everywhere dance this parties. Is, him and I were both single. We're like, dude, we're going on a cruise, blah blah blah. I and I'm just, I'm, I'm at cruise. the pool. I'm looking around like there's no pussy. <laughs> the well on, is what about dry. the two chicks that we met down in that club? I went to the cabana upstairs. Later. No, you did. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't go anywhere. Do you, I don't even want to tell the full story and bust you out here on live TV. Oh, on live TV? You done cock blocked them? No. No. no it, you want me to tell the full story? I, I kind of see where you're going. Where I don't was, think you do. <laughs> I, I, I can see where you're going on that. Do you want to tell it? 
I mean, I don't know what your full story is. Foundation. Please. Foundation. When you got home. Covering up some shit. Oh, yeah. Well, you're a wingman, bro. Uh, yeah. You're my guy. We'll just leave it at that. What do you use foundation for on a man? <laughs> What I was saying was back to, to the bucket of beer. Yeah, let's get back to the bucket of beer. We're on the elevators, we'll just skip over and that. we're seeing just random, you know, people. And we would always be looked at as if we were like those younger punks. You know what I'm saying? And you because were. everyone on this cruise Bullshit. was old as fuck, and I was promised pussy galore. <laughs> I thought I was hopping into the James Bond sequel, and uh, my just, dreams were shattered. Yeah. Well, everyone that we actually met there, we were very open and be like, Hey, how's it going? Where are you from? You know, is this your first crew? Like, you know what I mean? And then by the end, they were always like, "These guys are fun." Yeah, you want to get a drink? Let's. We got a drink right here. Here you go. You know what I so mean? So we went from scolded to right. Come join us. And, and so that's, that's, the, that's the crew I want to be with. Yeah. And that's the energy, and that's the type of conversation you're talking about. Just that random. The ran. Yeah, I love bringing it. out. You know, where are you from? What do you do? And I mean, that is kind of bullshit because you really don't care. But when you're on vacation or when you're with, you know, meeting people. But I, st- I stay pretty, like, if I, like I said, it's it's meaningless shit when you're at the grocery store. Hey, how you doing? What right. are you doing? What have you been up to? Oh, it's man. like, okay, and then it's just busy talk until right. you can get rid of them. And that's kind of what it is. Same but like when you're elevator. actually like at a bar or... You know, if, even if you are on a cruise, like, you do, like, get engaged because, like, I actually want to know. Right. Like, it, I enjoy this shit. You, like, where are you from? Like, find oh, these fuck, different like, stories and this yeah. and that. And, oh, yeah, no, it's my first one. Or, like, oh, I, some of those people were like, this is, like, our 10th cruise. And you're like, oh, shit. So, the Jesus first Christ. cruise I went on was undersold. So, there was no one on the fucking boat. <laughs> I mean, literally, it was, like, half full. It was one of the last trips through the Panama Canal. So you went, you started like in Jamaica, and then you went to Costa Rica and all this other cool fucking. Spots. I love that about a cruise, seeing different places. So, I partied with the crew. I was twenty years old, going into my twenty-first birthday because my birthday's on Christmas. You could drink in open God water. Damn, yeah, dude. how I was getting sloppy drunk every night. My grandfather was okay with it. it so was, hold on, this was, you were what twenty-one. 20, 20 going on to 21. Oh, so, yeah. This wasn't the Titanic, was it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I kicked Jack off the door. He, fuck, that bitch is dead. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to do the math, and it seems like it's adding up. It's pretty right. It's close, right? <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Sean sunk it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. So, anyway, I'm partying with the crew the whole night. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to hear about the crew party. It was it was every night we part we drank with the crew because there was no one else on the boat. It was like most of the people were just got on; they were all training. Well, because normally too, they they like tell the crew to kind of stay, stay away, right? yeah, but because it was so empty, they yeah, probably it was just fucking like, fair game. Fuck it. They need someone to play with. I was under on the crew deck partying with them down there, which was fucking wild. But did the band really play while I was singing? Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, you know, they were playing She's a Brick <laughs> House <laughs> as that fucker went down. So, no, I got back from the cruise and I didn't tan at all because I slept all day because I was up partying all night. With the crew. Like a fucking vampire. I, they're like, you were just in Costa Rica. You were, you were just in, you know, through the Panama Canal. You were oh, was I? I'm like, I'm like, yeah. They're like, you're not even tan. I go, I fell asleep at like fucking 530 in the morning every day. My uncle, we I was sharing a cab with my uncle. My uncle's like. Well, I knew it was time for me to get up because you were fucking coming back in. <laughs> Shift change. Yeah. So, after it's all said and done, and, you know, my grandfather pulls me to the side. That's why I loved my grandfather. That's why he was my hero. Puts his arm around me. He goes, did you at least get laid on the cruise? <laughs> and I go, to be honest, yes, yes, I did. He goes, good, next time take your uncle with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I just and by laid, you, you went to Hawaii, right? It was a cruise yeah, in Hawaii. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it was, it was a, da- a dancer in the one show. From Ooh. she was from Britain. They fly, I hear they fly those dancers in. Mm. They're only a well, lot of ways. It was on NCL, so no weight limit. <laughs> True, huge. <laughs> Same cruise. They were doing like some circus soleil, soleil shit. And this dude was on a bungee cord. It fucking shot up too high. It hit the fucking cross beam. It was fucking you know, dangerous. Like the magician? Yes. I was just about to say they do. I was going to say that. Homeboy oh, was dangling like me. They have cool shows and cool shit on cruises. So, like, if you've never been on one, I don't know. You guys might. Now, ours was kind of a little fucking crazy when we went. But I do think it's different. Like, if you went, like, if we went now, the three of us, I think would be a fucking blast. But I like cruises. If we go on a cruise, we're, Jeff's fucking coming back to an empty house. No, I, I'm just saying, well, you know, we've done those mm-hmm. big trips where we all get together and plan it. You know what I mean? Be like, hey, in 2025, if we start paying now, we could all go on a cruise. But, like, what I'm saying yeah, is, Skynet like. Skynet doesn't take over. By then, probably. <laughs> but, like, all the things that you could do with the cruise, you get to go to, like, a couple different islands, so you get to see different places. You get to do, you know, see, obviously. See, I, honestly, I prefer just going to one place. An all-inclusive but, kind yeah, of deal? I, yeah. I like going to an all-inclusive. You go to one place, there's a pool, there's but entertainment. That's what and different. Yeah, but it's you can do whatever the fuck you want, though. For seven days? If you go on a cruise, you are stuck on well, that yeah. fucking boat. And yeah, then when water. you go to fucking an island, Spumoni, you're only there for Spumoni. fucking. You're only minutes. there for fucking twenty minutes. Dude. So then you're like, you get to enjoy the beach, and it's like, hurry to fuck up, because if you don't get back, back to the, the boat, boat you're right, fucked. Guess where you're sitting? I you guess I could. Butt s- fucked in an alley in Mazalan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you just brought up a couple things. So Spumoni originated. Spumoni. I think we talked about the uh, the origins of Spumoni. Oh, the origins of Spumoni. Because you were also... Just you... mention it quick. Go. All right. So back in the day when we were in Mexico, we wanted to get the fuck out of stores because people hassle you and want to be like, oh, you want to buy so this? We, yeah. It was, we were on a cruise and like I said, you go to an island for... You got 20 fucking minutes. So we went to, you know, <laughs> so the fucking that, stores but... and shit. Yeah. And they constantly are haggling you and talking to you and stuff. And if we wanted to get the fuck out of somewhere, we would say Spumoni as our code word. If you heard Spumoni, that means let's get the fuck out of here. It's time to go. And that's honestly is carried on. Every time we do pub crawls. Every time we do pub crawls. crawls. You hear the word Spumoni at a pub crawl, that means next Next fucking bar. bar. (laughs) Next fucking bar. Next bar, chief. Next bar, chief. But I, I see where you could. I could agree with the resort is kind of nice as well. It is nice to just you stay at the same place. You know, you you go to your room, you come down, right. you can get breakfast. You go to the pool, you can go to the beach. You can go on like a ATV tour. See, yeah, or I a think that would be tour. cool. I've never stayed that long at one location like that. You know, I just I mean? don't like the cruise because it's like I don't feel like yeah, you get to go to a lot of places. We went on that cruise. We went to I don't know five different places. Right, Saint Martin, Saint Thomas, it's, it's, Saint uh, Thomas. Yeah. It's but, like a small sampling of the areas. Right, and, right, right, and it's kind of cool. You know, Puerto Rico. You check, it, but it is kind of all the same. Oh, but and then you bought that labyrinth but, and. <laughs> you had to shove it up your ass to get I it back on the cruise ship. Drunk as fuck <laughs> in, in goddamn Puerto Rico. Before we got on the boat, they were doing rum sampling in line. We were just hammering down shots of rum. Oh, yeah, that's oh. delicious. <laughs> we were, that booze was fucked up. Oh, we already talked but about yeah, the booze cruise. The, the, I mean, that, those are the good they times. They were taking so. booze off of other boats. But the most fun that They're I from really Wisconsin. did have was... <laughs> When we, we did were on the boat, they had like you know the different pools you can go in. They have the casino that's there. They have different, like you said, the theater with the magician and the shows. They actually have a movie theater. Noony. No- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting put on a shirt. By the way, I'm almost done designing it. Trust Noony. Trust Noony. Trust Noony. Well, this guy's doing this fucking show, and he's like, "I need it absolutely quiet," and he starts like. He was doing some juggling fucking act, and as soon as he goes to throw the first one, I'm like, "No <laughs> need!" <laughs> and he fucking stops and laughs and fucking points at me. He's like, that guy right there. <laughs> we were literally sitting in the front row to the side. Oh like, yeah, we we were real. We were fucking wasted. We're sitting there. It with is. A it is nice that you get us. all the shows and shit. But right. I, I personally, I like going to a destination state. Yeah. There. Do you remember? Were you to a cruise? At the cruise with cruises the- are fun. Or cru- <laughs> cruises are for old people. 
Hey, I feel. I'm not old. So, yeah, well, they are. Because think about it. Yeah, you're getting older about, by the fucking day. Think about it. On a cruise, you've got, what, two, three places to get food? Well, no, that's you've got a casino. Yeah, well, there's more than two, three places. They got like yeah, but then you have the Depending main. The, the main yeah. dinner is always in the same fucking place. Well, you can so go we got the same fucking thing every night. Right, you can go to the ballroom and they have They're the like, same. We, they knew us. We were steak. Like, do you have iceberg lettuce? Yep, they went and got us our. Le- uh, they got our salads from the Italian restaurant that was on the ship. Yeah, he the, sent the guy ship David back. was his name was our waiter, he and he was our friend. waiter there every night. He would get us our special salads. He'd get us fat special <laughs> salads. Hey, he got tipped very well at the end oh, of that. Oh, he did for real. We took so, care of David and your dad. <sighs> Big of as big of a dick as your father is, he, he fucking had his dress to the nines. We oh, were in tuxedos. There was a tuxedo night where not it was just formal. cummerbunds. We were in not just tuxedos. We were in goddamn cummerbunds. I know, but tell me this though: Have you ever been dressed so nice ever? Yes. Have you ever been dressed this? so nice ever? Ever. <laughs> that, I've, my I've, favorite like picture I said, is the three the of us time. on that chair. Oh yeah, it was great. It's a fucking or he looks great like he's the picture. Don around the sides. Look to the nines. Your dad like, is the most Polish Italian and, of all time. Yes, and he's very vain. He's very he loves to you know what I mean. Look good for people. Like I could give two fucks. Obviously, I'm in sweatpants and a hoodie. Like it's I like to be comfortable. I don't care what other people think. I want to be you. You know what I'm saying? But when we went on that stuff, he liked to make us look like we were in the nines. Like oh, like that. They, look at them. Oh, he brought well. He brought tuxedos. a bunch of suits and tuxedos. Dude, yeah, every night he's well, like, you guys are gonna look good. I'm like, what the, the fuck is this? He's right, like, that's a cummerbund. I was like, I, I thought that was just a made up word. That's that's a, a cummerbund. <laughs> and all honesty, that's an old school Chicago thing too. Oh yeah, for sure. Because you go out to dinner if you want, like especially on the cruise, if you're just like we're just going to regular dinner. I'm not fucking putting regular. I'm not putting fancy clothes oh, yeah, on. He, no, he'd be like you'd walk in there and they'd look at you like you fucking stole something. He would so even every night it was when khakis, you wear a V-neck uh, with our suit. He'd be like, you need to put a fucking button yeah, a fucking up and tie. What, what, the what fuck are you, doing? you wearing right now? Right. And he'd be like, step your game up. Let, let, don't you know? Let these people know. And it's like, <laughs> what, who? Who are people? Who gives a fuck about these people? I you like cru- ready to go I on like a board cru- I like cruises. I don't love cruises. Yeah. Right. All right. But I like the experience of staying. Did you see somewhere. the ice bar? Were you with me on the one with the ice bar where they did the nineteen martinis in one? And it was so fucking weird. I've never seen anything like it. Easy, Barry. What do you mean? It's a martini. You probably weren't there then. There was a bar. It was completely made of ice. The whole bar. The seats were made of ice. Everything. It was pretty cool. Was it ice bar? Really, it, was, it was pretty cool. Yeah. So it was all ice. <laughs> it was cool as hell. <laughs> well, so they, they were looking through and it ended up being a martini bar. And they're like, you know, it's like $100 or something. And they're like, you get like 19 martinis. I'm out. And they're all Dude, different. Dude, would be fucking wrecked. Where's the Wisconsin bar? Where the fucking it's, PBRs are one dollar and you get a PBRs and you get a token a chip. Your next drink is <laughs> free. <laughs> that is the Wisconsin thing. I know Ridley's all up in this wires. Hi, babes. Ridley pop, Ridley pop. But I seen someone pour. He set up nineteen glasses stacked in like a pyramid and tower. And like how he made this drink or whatever. Like, he was pouring it, and he was pouring stuff in individually as they were going, and each martini tasted different. Yeah, that's fine, but I'm it was, I was staying fuck. the fuck out of that. 19 martinis, dude? I, I would be fucking Oh, we split them. We, we all split them. There was, like, six of us, and what, maybe not that many. That's but, still a lot yeah. of fucking drinking. Yeah. We were pretty bombed after that, but a martini's not that big, you know what I mean? It's like a big shot. It's two so, shots. Yeah. I like the cr- the cruise aspect. It's, it's, it's great. Right. But... You're just you're stuck. Yeah, that's it. I hear you. Like no. we went to the same pool all the fucking time. That's how everyone knew we were the fucking the fucking boys, boys. You know. I hear you. No. And then no. we went to the gym. <laughs> we tried to work Dude, out. That is the worst. And it was fucking sweat, the our, boats fucking swaying. Because you're trying I'm to, trying to lift yourself. weights and and be sturdy and focused <laughs> and this and that. And you look out and you see the waves moving. You're just like. Oh shit! Like we're trying like, to run on the treadmill. I'm like, all right, let's go back to the pool. 
<laughs> yeah, drink. I, this is, I, this is not gonna go well. I literally every night before I went to bed, I rode the stationary bike because I was hammered, and I'm like, I need, I got too much energy. I need to get rid of this. So I'm sitting on the stationary bike, and my wa- I got my wobble time down to the fucking rocket of the boat. <laughs> so I was perfect on that fucking thing. It's crazy how you don't really feel it unless you're you trying don't. to stay still, right? And like, then you're like, oh shit. And then you look out, but that is one of my favorite feelings about the cruise is. At night, sitting on the top deck, staring out in the ocean, and it's pitch black, and everywhere you and look, it's just for us miles. because all the old people on the cruise are sleeping. <laughs> 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 it's fucking. <laughs> oh, yes, it's only us. There's Dude, nothing going on. Here. She's stepping out the oh, oh, red. She just wants to be so close. Oh, little she got popper. in the headphone wire. Oh, that's that's all good, bro. How dare you? Off with his head. Whoa, my ears just popped. All right, so uh, new Tesla truck, huh? Oh, God. Have you guys seen this fucking thing? It's... As soon I, as I saw it, I instantly thought of the truck at the end of Tango and Cash. <laughs> yes! Yes, that is exactly I was looking concept. for, like, a machine gun turret. Right, double on the side. Yeah. Like, a pop-up window. <laughs> you can fucking... <laughs> Yeah. Fucking Tango and Cash. Look at that thing there. Does that it's fucking that that is uh for our uh, audio listeners? I mean, what do you guys think of this? I audio listeners, awesome. go look at the uh, new Tesla truck. Let us know what you think. I'm conflicted. It's- I, I don't like it. the wheels on it. Is it one yeah. of those things where it's like, I hate it, like, and then like... Looking at the wheels. You're going to love it? Yeah. I love the concept that it has the pickup back end. You can like put the wheels, though? ATV. I don't that. like that. They need well, different They need different shoes on of that course, thing. Of course someone's going to put some rims on it. It's going to put well, it's some 34s. Yet, bro. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look nice. They it's need, a concept, but need, it's not. They need I mean, obviously it needs a windshield wiper. <laughs> yes. Um, There's U.S. regulations, so it has to have um, Mia's, side mirrors. Mia's. But, but it's a cool. I concept. think it looks pretty, pretty Futurist, fucking dope. Like, it reminds me of the Back to the Future two cars. I've been waiting for cars. Well, like the thing those. is, like it, it, it looks weird, but that's because it's, it is, it is weird, and we're not used to it. We're used to pickup trucks looking like. Pickup trucks, right? You know what a Ford F one fifty looks like, yeah, baby. Look at you that know what I'm you just picture it with a bunch of hay barrels on the back just I mean, doing work. That, if they came with that one. See, now that looks like a fucking, that, that looks like a regular truck. Right. That the, looks like the some other kind one, of fucking I like the other Toyota ones. Tacoma. It's a brand new 2003 Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> brand new 2003. But do you not like it because it's... It's not what you've seen before. Because like, everyone no. goes to these car shows and they see the concepts and they're like, fuck yeah. Dope is, yeah and then they sick. make something that doesn't look anything, anything like, like it. it. So then they get upset. So someone brought something to market that looks like a concept truck. I love it. I love it. That is what I'm talking about right there. I think it's cool. It's, it's unique. Dude, the, it's <laughs> the top of the line one. Which has three electric motors in it. it. It's like zero to sixty in like three seconds. Well, that's all Teslas though. They have the sport mode that bro or ridiculous you, mode. You heard all. about the Roadster, the yeah. Tesla Roadster? No. Yeah. Zero oh. to sixty in one point nine seconds. Yeah, electric. Yeah, yeah. It's Tesla. All electric, electric, bro. That's what I'm saying. Electric cars, they only have the one gear. It doesn't have to shift. There's gear. no sound. It's instant. Yes. It's just. Go. I drove I, I I drove a 2018 Pacifica Hybrid, all electric or whatever. Bread or bread? Br- yeah, that one. Bread. It, it's high bread. So you feed it bread. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay, how it so runs, right? Breadcrumbs, yeah. So I mostly Hansel and Gretel. I I was able to drive one and I put my <laughs> the foot Hansel in and it. Gretel 2000. That thing just gets <laughs> up and goes. HG. It's just breadcrumbs. A minivan was like zero to sixty in three seconds. It just and it was quiet. I didn't even realize. You know what I mean? It's yeah. There's no sound. Awesome. It's just throttle. And that's the big thing because it is gonna it is gonna turn to where a lot of these electric cars are. Well, that's the are thing so that sucks. Is faster. like I'm all for this electric shit. Right. You know. But, but it has no. I miss it. Rumble. Yes, the cam dump. And also, you're not. It's gonna kill road trips. Yeah, because then you have to 
you got to charge up. And average charge that's time the thing, is, is you, what? Fucking an hour and a half on a fast well, I mean, charge? Five, five, it, the, the top of the line one that goes zero to 60 or whatever and however much time. it uh, I mean, 500 miles. That's it's pretty more. fucking far. Right. It's way more than a tank of gas. But hold on. Don't a lot of these, because like, I know like that van... You drive it 300 miles on the electric battery, and then you could transfer to gas. These don't have gas at all. This is 100% okay. electric. So that's what I'm saying. Electric. I would rather have one that has the But that's what's crazy switch. is there's – you never have to pay for gas. There's no oil changes. There's no fluid. There's no nothing. Maintenance or, no, no maintenance. The only fluid Do you know how expensive is? those batteries are for that car, though, if they fail? Yeah. Well, the only, the only fluid you got to worry about is the windshield wiper fluid. <laughs> I remember the first time we had one. <laughs> it will always be fail. empty. <laughs> it was like fifteen thousand dollars for a new battery unit. Yeah, but that was back in the day. Like, that was like three years ago. Shit's catching up. Look at your flat screen TV. So, when true. flat screen uh, TVs originally came out, you paid what forty two hundred bucks for well, a forty two inch. Mm-hmm. Now you can go to the store and get like a sixty five inch for five hundred bucks. Yep. It took me like five black years Friday, to get that fucking TV. Out. Well, this is what they do: is they come out with something new, and they. It's just for the upper echelon of yeah. people. And then once they start selling them, then well, they can sh- bring it down to the lower markets. I got so excited back then because the biggest TV there was in Tube was a 32-inch. And I had one. And I wanted something bigger, better for Heavy the Heavy as fuck. So I bought... It wasn't a 42. It was a 47-inch. And it was like... To that time, it was like... 50 it's inch like was the five biggest. Grand, bro. Right. It was forty two hundred dollars. You're still paying that off, <laughs> bro. It took me five years to pay that credit card. At I Best bought Buy a out. fifty five inch for like, I think like it was yeah, a year $2, later, two thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah, a year later, and you're like, bro, I still owe like thirty five hundred. I was so fucking inch. pissed. So pissed. It's, it's crazy how fast it goes. Look at remember when Blu-ray players came out? Well, those fuckers are like five hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Think about it though, too, is how. Fast, the price has dropped on those TVs. Right, like how crazy fast. I bought a yeah. sixty-five inch last year. It was six hundred bucks. Right. If you and you paid four. In all for honesty, a, if there's for a forty-seven, 47 inch, yeah. If someone has a tube TV left out in America, I would be fucking shocked. I just threw one away. I had to find a special place to dump it. Yeah, I have like a garage full of them. <laughs> I had to find a special Seriously, place. Seriously, no, the yeah. management was like, hey, what are we fucking do with this thing? And it, the hell is this? So, like, you got to go to this special. They were probably place. looking at it like a fucking experiment, like no, kicking it. Like, that movie, I'm gonna tell what the fuck is this? I have a console TV at the house, so it's got like the fucking shelves built into the bottom. Oh, I, God. Ooh, I am taking that thing apart. And throwing it out piece by piece so I don't have to fucking... Otherwise, you got to call like a... Yeah. Yeah. You have to call like a fucking Men in Black. Yeah. <laughs> right. come over and I'm like... I'm tearing this TV. I'm tearing this TV. Hazmat suits yeah. and fucking special it's black crazy. trucks. Absolutely and crazy. all kinds of fucking shit. I mean, the technology, how far it came is when they say that there's more technology in our phones than there was on a spaceship that went to the moon... It's fucking crazy, crazy, right? I still think about that picture where it has all pocket. the fucking shit. Yeah. In a gymnasium full. Deontay, Record player. Deontay Wilder knocked out Ortiz in the seventh round. But ow. Boom. It's, Knowledge, it's kids. Set, it's set, that sets up for the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder rematch in December. Oh, my God. Or in January. It's going to be February, a firefight. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Deontay Wilder. <gasps> And the rest of the Bob Squad. Who? The boys. How'd that go? You know, I got a letter in the mail the other day. It said, congratulations were the first words on it. I Uh, couldn't believe it. Oh, shit. You know what the rest of it said? No, dude. Congratulations. You have just been selected for jury duty. Uh, (laughs) Oh, you got jury duty? I had, yeah. I had a week where I had to call in. And let me just explain this to you guys. I've done jury duty before. So as well as I. So this time I just had to like call and yeah. then I had to like end up calling back. Right, see and I do. didn't actually have to go in. But I have before. Right. Sitting there. And for all of you people who think if you don't vote, you're not on the list for jury duty. Wrong. Negative. Nope. I have never voted in my life. I've been summoned for jury duty. Two ways. See, that's where they get you. I've but this is my twice. problem. Only I once. love America. 
I love our freedom. I love everything about it. Yeah. Let me just explain something to you about jury duty. The first time I did jury duty, they bring you into the courthouse. You go like underneath into some weird fucking lit room. Looks like Mm -hmm. something out of Saw. And they give you... Make you watch the video. They give you fucking clipboards where you got to fill shit out. Now, there are people down there in the dungeon asking where the fuck to put their name. It is literally written on there. (laughs) First name. Middle initial, last name. There are people you don't down realize there. that. There are people down there. Okay, now There's think about like this that. for a minute. Oh. There are people asking where to put their name on a sheet that says, "Put your name here." These are the people deciding whether you go to jail for the rest of your life or not. Yep. <laughs> what and the you're the fuck? one that gets sent home, but they get selected. They're selected. No, I got selected for that one. Did you see Let's All I Go served. to Do you remember Let's All Go to Prison the movie? Yes. Yes. With Dak Shepard. Yes. Yeah, it's a where, fresca. Where, Why'd you where the, the guy stands up, we find a defendant quilty. Do you mean guilty? Oh, yeah, I get G's and Q's mixed up in <laughs> cursive. <laughs> that's, that's who's deciding your fate. Yeah. I like Everybody, so I actually served trial. on a juror. I, 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 I got selected. So I don't know fucking how. Everyone was so excited when the pizza came. I bet. We're in there like deliber- deliberating whether yeah. this lady should get money for her insurance fucking claim. And everyone's like, pizza! <laughs> oh my God, lunch. I'm everyone starving. Everyone's so fucking excited for pizza. It's like, okay, we have a serious matter to deal with here. No, no Fuck no it. fucks cares. Nah. So- Let's get some pizza in her belly, so then we'll decide this woman's fate. <laughs> the case, the case I got was a child abuse case, and guilty. It, no, guilty. It, it was a couple obviously breaking up, and the mother wanted to move to like Cincinnati, which good for you on Cincinnati, I guess. But she wanted to move there with the. Now there's freaks in Ohio. Yeah, she, that is Florida, true. Florida, Ohio. <laughs> Shout out to Hawk. But <laughs> so the the girl said that the guy beat her up behind like the jockey store in Kenosha, and genuine jockey or just remember jockey? it was like the jockey. Uh, there was a jockey plant in Kenosha, like when they make they fold up the shirts and shit to yeah. ship them out. So they bring the girl in. She does their testimony, and the whole time I'm going, this dude's innocent. Because I'm watching the video and I've seen I've fucking a victim of child I've, I'm a victim of child abuse myself you know verbal and fucking physical so I know it's th- still the mannerisms day. it's linger it's a linger as we beat up on you yeah it just doesn't stop verbally <laughs> all the time so and physically the wife <laughs> the wife gets on the stand oh the wife gets on the stand and. I have never hated a woman more <laughs> by the first two words that came out of her mouth. What she say? She she got up there and first off they were of Persian descent, but she talked like she was straight up from the South Side. Uh oh! Holy Jesus! He said, "This motherfucker!" And, and <laughs> the judges didn't seem like language. Mm-hmm. So, Gavel. How do you not come she, in there a little? Just she was. She already moved to fucking Cincinnati. But she wanted to, like, get more fucking child support out of the guy and take away his visitation. And I felt bad for the dude. I really did. And normally I don't know how about the empathy when it comes to shit like that. Yeah, right. But so we go back into the back and all of us are falling asleep because this is the most asinine case ever. This girl didn't knock it. This guy didn't touch his fucking daughter. It was the mother manipulated the whole thing. The little girl had two bruises on her arms where you could tell it's where she fell, like, at school. It was, you know, those perfectly round, like, bruises. Like, normally, if someone grabs you, you have the fingerprints that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You get the big hand prints. Yeah. No, that's not what this was. And the girl can So how this. did the deliberations go? I, I go, they're like, okay, who wants to be the, you know, head juror or whatever the hell it is? I'm like, I'll, I'll do it. And they're like, all right, no problem. I, they're like, I'm like, who thinks this guy's guilty? No one <laughs> lifted a hand. We're all like, okay, so this guy's innocent, so we get the fuck out of here. 
And everybody starts laughing. I'm like, all right, cool. We wrote it down, and I knocked on the door. It was literally a two-minute deliberation. It was that bad, huh? It, it was so egregious. We walk in there, and they're like, oh, jury, how do you find We're like, not guilty <laughs> at all. And I looked right at because I had to read it, obviously. How dare you? So I looked directly at her. You couldn't have been a little more sensitive? Oh, not at all. And I just looked her dead <laughs> in the eye. I was like, not guilty. Bitch. I, That's what he yeah, wanted Yeah, he might as well say, say bitch. I wanted to because it was such a waste of my time. Literally, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> and they walk over and hand me a, can- like a little candy bar and think of water. They're like, you got to stay awake. I'm like, I know what's already going on. This is the most asinine shit I've ever seen. See, I had a, where a lady lived in like, in a, like a condo place, kind of like I do. Like People are supposed to like salt and all the shit, so yeah. she dated and salt, and she broke her fucking arm. Wow, deja vu. Kind of Give me money. Kind of circles back Give around. Give me money. Give me money. So we're fucking doing the whole thing, and the lawyer actually quoted um, the Princess Bride. Inconceivable? No. <laughs> Nigo Montoya. Oh. He quoted that whole fucking thing. It's like, this guy's got it. <laughs> wow. This guy has it. I see what he's doing. I see, I what see he's doing. I see his game. But then at the end, they're like, okay, her injuries were already covered by insurance and this and this. So we were basically just ruling on her. If she had pain and suffering. Pain and suffering, and I'll, I don't even remember how it went. Compensation. I think she got it. she got a little bit of cash, but not what she wanted. What? Everyone, what blew my mind is that everyone was just so excited for pizza. Well, we that got was pizza it. Too. We got pizza too, and they first off the delivery was late on the pizza. We opened oh, up. Oh, so it was about to be a guilty charge until we, that pizza. We opened up, <laughs> open up the pizza boxes. They're all slid to the front. All fucked up. Mm, guilty. Cold, cold <laughs> pizza. I'm like, no. That was like that was even more of an incentive for us to get the hell out of there. We so had to sit through real, that. Real we had food. to sit through that for two days. I had to go a whole week. I just told them I don't like people, and then I didn't have to do it. You know what was? But I had to sit there in the room. You know what was funny though too was I didn't comb my hair, I didn't dress appropriately. No. I still got selected. Well, the best thing was you know where they tell you you know don't talk about the case outside of here. We're going to Wendy's because you know Kenosha Courthouse, so the Wendy's is right there. We walk over to Wendy's, and I, the lady I'm walking with is actually from Twin Lakes. She goes, uh, I look at her, I go. This guy's innocent, right? She goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, can we get the hell out of here? Well, I don't here? think you're supposed to talk about it with other people. Like, right. you're not supposed to, like, well, go no, home and be like, hon, you won't believe this fucking shit. Well, no, you're not supposed to talk with the other jurors either because you could sway their decision. Yeah, but when you deliberate, aren't you swaying their decision? Because like, everyone gets together and they're like, well, what do you think? And then, you know, these people who, you know, drive four pick-em-up trucks are like, I think he's guilty. Well, that's because of... Uh, Mama said he's guilty. Cause I talked to after, her last night. That's after she all. She put the, on her shawl, and she was so honest with me. <laughs> oh, go. Because that's... Then my uncle came in, and he made me come, and that felt good, so I think he's guilty. When See, you, they have those assholes, though, that are excited to be there. That are genuine. Right? Yeah. That are like, they're, I'm part of because Law & Order now. And they think that they're doing... I'm a, right, they watch Law & Order on TV, I'm and they're part like, of it. I know exactly how this goes. This is going to be on... Where's the semen traces? Court TV. <laughs> Where's fucking ass T? Is he coming here? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys tra- check for semen? There's That's semen the on everything. Thing. Yeah. It's jizz. Why on those shows is it everything's... Everything's covered in jizz. Just jizz covered everywhere. Lots of DNA behind it. Why is there a semen sample on the ceiling? Circus oh fuck. Circus oh fuck. No, when you deliberate, it's after both... If you can't figure points. out how to yeah, it's when you're coming to your jury, decision. Jury, but yeah, I mean, still, that's I mean, you gotta like if you feel a certain way, you it's your job to convince the other people to see it your way. Well, yeah, but you can't do it in the middle. And if you haven't heard everything, that's the problem. If you're a quiet individual, you will just sit there and be like, okay, yeah, yeah. I think even if it's not what you think, it's it's you know the same thing with the group mentality. You they, fall into a group mentality. Basically, I felt like I was being arrested for two fucking days doing that fucking jury duty. It sucks. And then my second one, my second one, I came in the middle of the polar vortex you last your socks year. Off? You can't. <laughs> in the middle of the polar, polar vortex last year, and they they're like, "Yeah, don't worry." 
<laughs> You're off jury duty. Pipes froze and busted in the courthouse. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I enjoyed doing it for the experience just to see what it was like, but I was so disappointed with the people that were actually there, and I was like, yeah, if it, I were like on a murder trial, like I was just looking the around people. the room, and I was like, these are the people that are in charge of my fate. And I was scared pizza. to fucking death. I, I was like, up free ever. pizza. So, so if you're ever on murder trial, you just send like top of the line. Pizza to everyone. Or so something don't too. send them no fucking cheap shit, bro. So, so what's... So that Lou Malnati's. What's 20 foot long and has 17 teeth? Wow. Mm. The front row at a Garth Brooks concert. <laughs> 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 also... Jury duties. <laughs> <laughs> Jury duty? Yeah. Where do Same I put my name? Right I'm row. just like, what lady? Are you kidding me? You might be judging whether someone goes to jail for the rest of their life, and you don't even know where to put your name on the paper, and it says first name, middle initial, last name. Well, I changed my name, so do you want that name, or do you want my first name? You want what right. my husband calls me? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Twat McJefferson. Twat McGit Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Twat McPunching Bag. Oh, Some fuck. I, fuck, bro. I just feel like you got to be able to talk your way and get out of it. Fucking, I just told him I don't like people. It's it's I, weird. It's a weird vibe, man. If you've never done it, you don't really know. I didn't want to do it, but they still made me stay. Well, I sat in that room. The reason, well, yeah, I got selected, so I actually sat through the fucking trial. And well, when they make you do deliberations, that paper that you fill out with your name, there's certain questions on there that they ask you when you answer them. If you answer them in a certain way, no, they, they don't. You. Not anymore, bud. So. No, I'm I'm dead serious. You just didn't get selected. They didn't like you. Maybe well, because you didn't take your sunglasses off in court. Yeah, Probably not. <laughs> well, one hundred percent. The reason why I got selected was. The guy goes. Because you're big and handsome. No, it wasn't even that. And there's like, was. have you ever been through a divorce? I'm like, yeah, two of them. And the guy's like, you're selected. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he wrote Christ. my name down real quick. I just love he quoted fucking Princess Bride. <laughs> no, hey, he's I'm a nigga Montoya. He it was my father. It was prepared, prepared to, to die. die. And then he stabbed him. He was so aggressive with it. <laughs> I was like, holy fuck, this guy's got my attention now. I just remember looking at both the lawyers and almost mouthing to them, like, what the fuck are we still doing here? I, I understand you guys get paid by the fucking hour. Yeah, and you got to you gotta go through the process. I mean, if she fucking, you know, she set it all up. Obviously, she was probably the one who put the claim in or 100%. whatever it was. So you got to go through the motions. Fuck Sounds all like that you bullshit. You got a shit case. Well... At least I didn't get so like because the first one. So you sit into a couple of them. So I sat in on one and it was a, it was a rape trial. Thank mm. God I didn't fucking get That's selected out of that. So I got some petty, some petty slip and fall and some yeah. fucking. See, thing. I would have issues with the rape trial and shit like that because I would want. Well, to, I was from Twin Lakes too, I'd, and I was like, oh. Yeah. I, I would I would want to get up and punch the fucking guy in the and face. And someone that I went. Uh, someone that I worked with was actually there, and we're like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. So he got selected to that trial, and he's like, you'd probably know everybody in this trial. And I was like, thank fucking God I didn't get selected well, that's for the, that one. Well, that's the thing, too, is you, if you're from Twin Lakes, they're not going to... Yeah, that's why I got skipped over then. Yeah. They're not went straight to the ice capades. I guess maybe, because I'm thinking <laughs> back of mine when I was there. It was, a, it was a young gentleman who assaulted an officer... And, and Frankie went, hell yeah! Well, no, I actually have a family member that was a police officer in Chicago who was shot and killed on duty. He was one of the first officers. So I had conflict, Green. Yeah, I, I had conflict of interest in a case like that where I could feel sighted towards an officer because, you know what I mean, of right. previous experiences. Yeah, you wonder if you they knew that shit or if it's I, just... I was asked in the questionnaire and oh, stuff, then, and yeah. I put that down. They said, have you ever had any like you know incidents or this? Well, that's probably that? why, yeah, I didn't get selected for the 
Twin Lakes rape case. Right, because you were... Cause hey, hey Fred, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Oh, shit, you're getting... You, you raped that girl? What the fuck, <laughs> man? That girl puts out for everybody. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Shit. Man, you should have just gave her a fucking line of blow. You have been in there. Holla. What kind of parties? How come I'm never at these parties with you guys? Never. Fuck? What you got, Jeff? I know you got something. Huh? You keep checking your phone. Scheme. Well, no, I just, I, you know, I make lists when I drive in the truck all day. Okay, what, what we, what's a good one on there that you want us to um, uh, discuss? Uh, so we did the uh, the TGD spoils yes. on the Ninja Turtles with BJ Raniac. And I was just thinking about, like... Ooh, BJ Raniac, the photo director of The Rocket and director of the upcoming Blame? Blame looks Ooh, good as fuck, Yes, it dude. does. I'm super pumped to fucking see that. I am, too. The trailer. So I was just thinking about... So we were talking about the first Ninja Turtles. Like, how was your first movie the best movie out of a series? Like, you just blew your load too fucking early. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just... True. You went all in. Yeah. Now, this is a PSA to all the young kids out there. Okay? If you plan on making a series... No. If you're going through your first cuffing season... Cuffing season has started, okay? Now, if you're going through your first cuffing season, now let me explain this to you guys. I've learned this through many years of relationships and many Christmases. You don't blow your first load on your first Christmas. You ever done this? If you go out and you go shopping and you get her like a diamond necklace or a badass fucking Tiffany's fucking bracelet for the first Christmas... Guess what you better bring for the next Christmas? There better be you an better top this ring. shit. You got so, an engagement ring the next so Christmas. So what you do, okay, gentlemen, your first cuffing season. Scarves. You just met a girl. This is your first Christmas being spent with each other. You start slow. Scarves. Maybe she's into fucking yoga pants. Don't get her the Lululemons right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't even know Go what mean. Yeah. Oh, the Lululemon because this is what happens. If you blow your load too fucking early, you're gonna have to top it next year, and you can't top this shit. There's well, no diamonds. Like... There's no gold. There's no. There's no prints, diamond and pearls. It can't be okay. No. All right, and I can see exactly what you're saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, I, Both I, you guys can relate to uh, this. Yes, I think uh, every man can relate to this. But you as far start as the slow. Movie aspect. I have to disagree because a movie aspect, you come out and you bring out this movie and everyone comes attached with the characters and this and that and you want more. And But when you want more, you're expecting so much more and it to get so much so better. So how is this a bad one. analogy? But what I'm you saying... You blow your load. The first, the 1990s Ninja Turtles was so good. Right. Okay. They're, 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 they're tell no me way. the rest of them were better. No, they weren't. Exactly. But, but this is what I'm talking about. The first Christmas, you give her a diamond necklace. I get that. And then you give her a scarf, you're two. She's going to be like... What the, what the fuck? fuck? He gave me a right, but he gave it, me a she wants an engagement ring that year too. You got in the oh, movie world. You. It's it's hard well, for fucked. them to come back from the first one because it was so good. They're so, they're expected to make it better, and I get that concept that you're saying. But that's in hard in the movie world because what are you just gonna come out with trash for your first one? Well, some people might say that the first Fest and the Furious was trash, and the other ones got better. No, they didn't. They didn't, but. They didn't, they didn't stick to the fucking formula. No one's ever said that. What I'm saying is, I, I, guarantee, <laughs> I guarantee there's some people that think the new ones are awesome. And they are Yeah, awesome. they also drink a lot of Mountain Dew and live in trailers. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm all hopped up. I'm what I'm saying in the <laughs> movies is like, Vin the, the was the I guess actor the same ever. way is the, the gifts. You're expecting something. That's why you'd be let down if it wasn't something. But at the same time, for like a gift, yeah, you can give someone a diamond necklace the year before. But you if were a you were a blow your load guy, weren't you? Oh, I've, that first Christmas, you went all out. I mean, you're I, talking about two hundred dollar, twenty pound weighted blankets. Uh, you're talking. I want to try those. <laughs> you're talking about fucking earrings with their names put in the middle of them. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> yes, you can. 
Are you talking about the hoop earrings with the laser? <laughs> like you goddamn right, I am. You're going 2003? The, yeah, that's when you were back in the day in your prime. I've always wanted to indulge, but what I'm saying, like, as far as, I guess, like, the, the you are a load. You are a load blower. I always want to blow my you load. You went all out first Christmas, I guarantee it. And then every Christmas after that, they so just lost down. interest. I usually like get rid of this. They're already <laughs> gone. They're already <laughs> gone after that first Christmas. Yeah, because cuffing season was, was over. Over, you get to summertime and it's because it's summer vibe. This is when Should Netflix have... makes their most fucking money. Their subscribers, season. they just log out after Christmas. Right after Valentine's Day, prescriptions Once spring go break hits. Subscriptions, <laughs> subscriptions. <laughs> prescriptions. I always say every time. Prescriptions every go. time. Prescriptions. I'm, I'm prescribing you. Prescribing you. I feel Netflix. like it is. is it, to our podcast. Isn't it kind of a prescription though? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I need that medicine. I need some Netflix in my life. So it, it went it. from Netflix and chill to Disney Plus and Crush now? <laughs> Disney Plus and Crush. You know what's fucked out about that? I wanted to bring this up with BJ when he was on because he he has a, a young child. Mm-hmm. I am more excited about Disney Plus than the kids are. I got to admit. Really? I'm going to tell you well, right Dude, now. you just go through the movies and you just feel the nostalgia. Like, you're like, God, I watched this and I watched this. And it is a special thing to share. Yeah. Like, we talked about the Ninja Turtles, the 90s Turtles. Like, yeah. they love the Michael Bay Turtles, which are fucking trash. Right. So I love being like, hey, do you guys want to watch this? I love sharing things that I loved as Your a childhood, kid with yes. the kids. The kids the other day. So I was like, I want to watch a movie with you guys. And they're like, woo. And I was like, have I ever steered you wrong? And they're like, no. I was like, you're going to. We watched The Matrix, the first one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Their minds was blown. were fucking blown. They're like, you know what, Jeff? That was a really good fucking movie. <laughs> I was like, see, I told you. Like, I'm not going to show you guys some bullshit. And then they were like, can we see the second one? And you went, no. Nope. <laughs> I like the second one. See, the second one is, I don't really like the plot. The action in the second one is fucking phenomenal. Right. With, like, those twins, that whole highway scene, fucking amazing. But as far as the story, once he gets to the fucking thing <laughs> and he talks to the guy in the chair I, who is he the, the I, I, I don't know, know. Was. he's the creator yeah and he's talking in big words that frankie can't spell and no one <laughs> what, like, like it's so that small words. The? yeah he's like the fox went <laughs> to the bar wait slow down hold on. i'm trying to hold, hold on a goddamn minute. it's gotta be your fox <laughs> I still don't fully understand the Matrix. I really don't. And now they're going to make a fourth one? You didn't understand the first three. I feel like that would be a good thing. I kind of understood the first one. Did you? The second one, they lost me once he met the creator. I was like, what what are all these TVs? What's he watching? And then he's like, this is short. He was like speaking a different fucking... He's speaking intelligently. So and Daddy don't. That's where he lost you. Yeah, I was out. So I was like, yeah, only, this movie was cool. <laughs> there's only a handful of movies where the first one and the second one, you know, the second one was could be considered better than the first. Two movies that were equally great are the Deadpool. Both Deadpool's were fucking phenomenal. Really good. Yeah, phenomenal. I would agree. All the middle Star Wars movies all ended in a down on a downside. They're Every one good, of though. them. Well, yeah, but you posted that thing today. Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie, going off and about dude, he, Star and Wars. And fucking said it right. 100% right. I mean, Star Wars is for kids. Just because it hasn't grown mm-hmm. People with lose us, their shit. People lose their shit. I really did enjoy The uh, the Force Awakens. Yeah. Well, that, I like the story. And the second one, to me, um, what was it called? The Last Jedi? Last Jedi. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like the story. A, and it ended on a down note. It was just, well, I, I understand it, that it ended on a down note, knowing that there's going to be a third one, but I just, I didn't like the story. There's too much filler shit, 
and all this other stuff. Well, the like, whole fucking trip to the goddamn casino. They could have just left that out. Well, I that don't. Was, they had a fill it was time. useless fucking that bullshit. That was also like the the clerk's rant. And, you know, Randall's like, oh, which Star Wars did you like? And, or, uh, yeah, and Dante was like, Empire. And like, why? Because Empire is just like life. It's just a series of down notes. <laughs> All I think that Return had was some Muppets. <laughs> well, everyone he thinks walks. Empire Strikes Back is the best one. I don't know. I like, I the like them all. The I, I really do. I like the original good three. Stories. I mean, even the if you look back, the original three, meh. But I mean, they were made in the fucking seventies, so right. It's like, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you see a movie like, like I said, well, so Jaws. There's nothing close to it. That's a seventies well, movie. What about Forty Eight Meters Down? Yeah, see, the, that was a good movie, but the again, Phantom it wasn't that like the Phantom Menace. Like so, chronologically, the first three. Mm-hmm. Those were. 100% like Freddie towards Prince kids. said, towards towards kids. The problem is, is they, it was the age of special effects. Right. Like, look oh, what yeah. we can CGI. do. Look wow. what we can do. So they just they banked on that. They're like people aren't into the story. They're into special effects and action. Right. But they found out the fucking hard way. People are actually like into the story. Well, yeah, it's the fucking origin of Darth Vader. Well, let's talk about this. This is another thing I had on my fucking mind. So, the new Charlie's Angels. It's I, fucking... I didn't even know it came out. It bombed at the box office. And, like... I think it made $8 million or something. Everyone is upset about it. See, I didn't here, even know it was coming See, here's out. the thing. And then they're, they blame it on, like, feminist men. Yeah. Misogynist men. I didn't so, know it was coming out either. I, I Honestly, I didn't see a fucking ad Honestly, for just make... A good movie, right? And Just make a good it. movie. It I, doesn't look good at all. I saw the preview and I was like, I don't "I'm sorry, want to I didn't play that preview I, during Sunday on football, so I didn't see it." I I didn't <laughs> think the Ghostbusters remake was very good. Oh, it's horrible. But look at okay, so there's another new movie coming out. Margaret Robbie is gonna oh yeah revise the, the uh, Birds of Prey. Yes. She's going to play Harley Quinn again, yeah. Birds of Prey. If you watch that preview, Dude, it's it an all-female cast, it but the actual good. movie looks good, so people are going to see it. Surprisingly, a DC movie looks good. Yeah. But Suicide Squad looked all right, too, on the previews. Well, the, honestly, the previews were amazing. With like the music and the way that they shot it, yeah. that's why... So what happened with that movie was is they actually hired since the previews got so much like hoopla Mm -hmm. and shit they hired the guys who made the previews with the music and all this other shit they hired them to re-edit the movie after it was already made wow i think they fucked up a little bit because they made it too much like the previews they wanted like you know aquaman actually was decent it was it was worth watching it wasn't like I was like, oh, this movie but if is you're a not, pile of if shit. If you're not invested into the character. 100, 100, I, I understand that. But like Justin Lee bombed. Hor- it was horrible. Because no one knew any of these backstories. Right, yeah. Well, that's the problem with Suicide Squad is they explained the backstories. As, oh, here's blah, blah, blah. Here's blah, blah, blah. But we weren't invested. Right. Like, look at Marvel. You had, what, three movies to invest in Iron Man? Right. You had, like... Two movies well, yeah, to invest in. It was four. all a slow build. Exactly. Right. You can't just, like Put I said, you can't just blow your load too <laughs> early. You can't just buy her a diamond necklace and then get her a scarf the next you year. You get a diamond necklace. So you get a diamond. Bruh. The moral of this week's podcast is don't blow your load. Too don't early. blow your load too it's early. It's cuffing season. Keep cuffing it. Cuffing season. Keep, keep it in the. Keep it casual, everyone. Okay. Yeah. Buy, buy something that you know. Don't buy flowers, but buy fucking a scarf. Get in, get a '90s haircut. Or like buy some nice daisies. Book. That's all you got to do. You know, buy buy a thoughtful gift. I not my a, don't buy out. fucking jewelry. No jewelry. No jewelry. Jewelry not even from the three dollars. One more time. No jewelry. <sighs> so what? 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 We're at over an hour. Is it that time already? 
How dare you? I got a fuck ton more topics. <laughs> I guess it's gonna have to wait. We could do one more. Give us your best. Give us the closer. I don't want to end on a depressing note. Don't end What's depressing? It. it gets dark too fucking early. A hundred percent. I don't. See, I haven't seen. Four fucking thirty. It's I, pitch black. What the fuck, man? I go, I go to work. It's dark. <laughs> I go to work. It's dark. You. you were wondering why I don't look so tan. I haven't seen the sun. The fucking years. Where's that motherfucker uh, at? I ain't seen the sun shine. I seriously can't three believe damn it. Damn days. I'm late. I'm like Monday night football. It's starting right now. It's like midnight. Right. <laughs> like oh, no, it's only seven o'clock. That was last week when we were watching Upgrade. Yeah. It was like six thirty. I look outside. I'm like, dude, what time wow. is it? I look at my watch. It's six thirty. Six thirty. It felt right. like it was. Uh, Fuck you! I was watching Thursday night football. It was three minutes left in the game. I'm like, all right, good. There's there are school, three down three. Here we go. I'm gonna watch this. I didn't make it through the next fucking set of commercials. I was passed out. Like, where are the scientists at? Can we like put rockets underneath the flat Earth and like shift it <laughs> right. so we can get some more fucking sunlight? Come during on. these dark months, figure it out, it, scientists. It literally went from twenty days, to twenty-eight days later, when it's just dark throughout the whole movie. That's what it feels like in life right now. <laughs> I missed you, son. Son, my son. vitamin D. Vitamin D's nuts. <laughs> Baby Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Alrighty. And with that being said, it goes down too fast. you just said it again for Jeff. Yeah. For Frankie. I am Sean. You are. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Catch you later. And we're going to do one more ad after the song's over. Stay beautiful. Yes. Don't forget this week's podcast was brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den, where you can find all your gentleman's den merch. Just like the one Jeff's wearing right now. He brought it in pink. Well, there's a lot more colors than just pink, folks. Ooh. We got hoodies. We got tall tees. We got v-necks. We got cups, bags, hats. All your fucking <laughs> things you can use. Hair clips coming next. Hair clips coming next. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, that is shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. Go buy some t-shirts. We can use the money. Sport it. <laughs>